garbage do we make? Good work. Good morning. It is Monday, which is not my favorite. And today, I don't know if you could tell by the sky, but it is clouding up and it is going to rain today. There is a flood watch. We're in the middle of an extreme drought, I think they said, or severe drought. I don't know, one or the other. Uh, and we have a flood watch for today. It's supposed to rain between one and three inches, which is quite a bit of rain. So the plans that we had for today are canceled. We were going to pour the patio outside the shed at the land, and I was going to have a couple guys go start a parking lot project they were going to cut it drop off the equipment and so forth but that's not going to work out so the only thing that i really can do that's inside is we poured the floor inside the shed and we stamped it with a wooden plank so we're going to go over there i'm going to have a couple guys tape it off i'm going to acid stain it i'm going to have ryan go drop off the equipment at the parking lot which will start tomorrow morning and that's pretty much all we're going to do, as to stay in the floor. Some of the guys I told to stay home, uh, just a couple guys are coming in today. So I already took the trash out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. Morning, girls. Have a good day. Morning, guys. Have a good day. Pulling into Quick Trip. It's probably not going to be busy today. All the morning traffic that you see here, all the people that are in the store, well, not all, but the majority of them are... Uh, you know, landscapers, concrete guys, tradesmen. So when you have a day where it's gonna pour rain, it's not gonna be busy. Normally there's a, you know, there's a long line and you'll see there won't be a long line today. Just a couple people, that's it. I didn't think I'd ever say this, but I'm kind of getting sick of Diet Dr. Pepper. Morning, Mizzy. Happy Monday to you. Trying to stay positive. Yeah, there's always something to be thankful for, right? Always something to be thankful for. Mm -hmm. Morning, Lisa. How's your Monday so far? Oh, lovely. Just got here, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> Still good. Yeah, <laughs> it's too, er <laughs> too early to tell, right? Right. <laughs> I'm All looking right. forward to the end of the season though, already. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. All right, All have, right a have a good day. Thanks. It is just black out to the west. That is not good. It's actually a good time for it to pour rain though because we're starting that parking lot. And obviously the parking lot is still in now and it has a drain. So all the water ends up in the drain. As opposed to like if we were gonna try doing a patio or something tomorrow, it would be all gush. So thankful for that. It is 617 just pulling into the yard. Nobody's here yet. Bugs is not coming in. Tino's not coming in. And Ramon is not coming in either. Mechanics here bright and early. Always. Who's calling me this early? Oh, Franny. Hello. It rang. Why you just get up? It sounds like you just got up. I did, man. Can you send me the address? Oh, my goodness. For real? Yeah. Just stay home. Huh? Just stay home. No, I'm going to sure. I'm going to work. It's going to be raining by the time you get there. I was work I was going to uh, acid stain the floor at the yard or at the new land. All right, then. I'll see you tomorrow. You sure, man? Right? Yeah. Cool. That's fine. If you need me. If you need me, I'll go right. No, it's fine. All right. Sorry, man. All right. All right, well, Francisco's not coming. So I think next year what I'm going to do, and I don't know who the, all the crew's going to be next year. Bugs will be back, obviously. I don't know about Eric. Francisco will probably be back. But I'm going to implement some kind of, like, uh, some kind of reward system or, I don't know. Like, maybe, maybe there's, like, a guaranteed bonus of so much money every week but if you're late you lose out on the bonus that sounds like a pretty good plan yeah maybe i'll do that that way you know there's some ramifications for being late there's consequences the problem is like i don't implement any consequences for being late or whatever so it's not it just doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal to the guys i guarantee and i'm not picking on francisco because all the guys have been late except for bugs 
Uh, I guarantee if there was something like that they were looking forward to that was really important to them, there's no chance they would be late. Something has to change. I came up here to check if we had some pipes. I only need a couple. Oh, that's not very long. Pieces of pipes. We got one full one here. That's all I need, really. That's all I need is one full one and then one piece. Gotta make sure I got an elbow and then I need some conduit as well. I'm gonna run conduit before we pour the patio at the new land <laughs> because I was thinking we're gonna bring this green shed over to the land. And what I was thinking is to pour a pad for it, but it's kind of small because I don't wanna bring that one over. I wanna leave that one here and I want to leave, I've been thinking about this all weekend, so I might have said something different in the past. But I think I'm going to leave that one here, and that one here, and I'm going to take this one. But I want to pour a pad about twice as big as this, and then add on to this side of the shed. You know, just take this wall down, and then just do an addition, and make it about twice as big as it is currently. That way, you know, we'll have about the same size or same amount of storage on the new land as we have here because we'll have these you know that'll this will be equal to both of those and then i have the concrete shed which isn't quite as big as this orange shed but i don't use all this orange shed either so i think that's the plan this is really easy to move this is the easiest one to move too we'll just pick it up with the skid loaders plop it on the trailer and drive it over there bring both skid loaders over there pick it up and drop it on the slab ryan's here so i got a three inch downspout adapter and now i just need to find an elbow i think i got them on the other side no there's no elbows i do have one in the back take the tandem and that and fill it all up with fuel on your way to the new land And then go to the new land. I'm gonna have you help him, just for uh, help us there for just a little bit. And then I'm gonna have you take this, drop it off where we're gonna do the parking lot tomorrow. Come back and get this skid loader, fill this one up, and take it over there too. I will have to run to Home Depot. I gotta put a piece of conduit in because I'm gonna get power coming into the concrete shed, and then from that shed I'm gonna have to run a line over to this shed. This shed is nice. That thing I was thinking about bringing over, but it's it's in rough shape. It's beat up, the floor's all buckled, and it's really ugly. This thing is looking good, so probably put the addition on to this shed, and then just paint, I don't like the green, obviously. We'll paint that real quick. Paint it black or brown or something like that. I just got a text from Eric, 623, and it says, I just woke up. How did he just wake up? He texts me at 522, boss, are we working? And I said, yeah. And now he just woke up. How? That's what I'm saying. There needs to be consequences. I've been doing videos for three years. Have you ever seen me late? No, of course not. And it'll never happen. My whole career, I've never been late. Because it's important to me. Work's important. Even before I had a business, when I worked for other people, I was never, ever, ever late because work is important. I'm not paying those guys for today either. Normally I pay the guys regardless if we work or not, but no. I'm gonna run to Home Depot. I gotta get a plastic sprayer and then uh, I'll just have to stain that floor myself. Home Depot, my home away from home. Well, the guys killed my mood this morning, but I'm still gonna try to get something done. We'll get something done. Getting three quarter inch conduit. We're only running one Romex through it, but it'll be easier for my electrician to feed it through. He'll be happy. A half inch sometimes, depending on how many bends you have, it can be a little bit of a pain. Three quarter inch should be very easy. Ryan's here, but. What you doing? Oh, business on your phone? No, I texted you. I don't know what to do here. Yeah, let's go in there. What do you need at the new land? 
Well, I'm gonna have them hold the shield when I spray. I was gonna tape it all off and then spray, but I'm not in the mood for that. I'm just gonna spray it quick. Have them hold the shield and be done with it. I'll talk about acid stain here in just a minute. First, I'm gonna fire up the generator and get some light in there so I can see what we're doing. I think we got a little time before the rain starts, maybe 45 minutes. The problem is if it rains and it gets on this front edge and that's wet, that kind of ruins my plans because the stain won't take the same. I'm loving this generator already. It's just so nice. You just grab it. You can throw it in the back seat of the truck, the bed of the truck. It's light. It's a Honda. So you know it's going to start right up every time. As long as you change oil once every 10 years, it should be fine. Okay, we got light. Kind of. Kind of. All right, I'm going to sweep this foam out and then mix up some acid. I'll show you how I do that. These I'm going to put right off the back corner and we'll put the shed right about there. I'll grab the broom out of the back of my truck and then just sweep that foam out of there. So I have some brick form acid stain and I put something in my sprayer. I don't do a lot of acid staining anymore. I used to do a lot more. And I'm gonna save some of this acid stain. I'm not gonna put it all in there and I'll show you why in just a minute. So acid stain is pretty unique in that it's not a topical color. It doesn't lay on the surface of the concrete. It's actually an acid that reacts with the concrete and stains or burns the concrete a certain color. Uh, that being said, the, the color choices are limited with acid stain. Um, you know, there's browns, there's a green, and there's like a tan, and that, that's about it. Uh, it's pretty limited. The, the downside of acid stain is it doesn't really go very deep in the surface. So if you put acid stain and then you put sealer over the top of it, of course, if you let it go for a long period of time where you wear through the sealer, you'll actually start to wear the surface of the concrete and you'll wear the color right off the concrete. So it's really important when you acid stain to keep sealer on the concrete. So I dumped about, I don't know, three quarters of a gallon into my sprayer can and I'm gonna go one to one with water uh, for the first coat. And then I'm gonna come back and do a straight coat with a brush on individual planks here and there, kind of give it a little bit of variation. So that's the plan. Ryan's gonna tape that off and I'll show you how I spray it. And it's pretty cool. You can do some pretty unique stuff with acid stain, but it's not for every project. That's beautiful. That's what we're looking for. It is starting to rain and it's landing on the concrete. So I'm gonna start now, at least on this front. So when you apply this, you just do a circular motion, keep a wet edge. All right, we're gonna let this sit for 10 minutes or so, I'm gonna hit it one more time. Oh, we don't even have a shovel here, do we? Do you have, oh, you, there's a shovel. Come over here. We gotta dig a trench right here. It's gotta be pretty deep for the electric. Just diggy, diggy, diggy. And it's starting to rain more. So I'm gonna get this stuff on here. You don't want to create any kind of pattern when you're spraying. You want to be very random. You don't want to spray lines or anything like that because it'll be darker where you do that. Acid stain turns out to be really mottled, which is a cool look. 
but you don't want to be able to pick out patterns. Random, 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 keep a wet edge. It's simple, but you can mess it up. Okay, that's it. We're gonna give that a little time to dry. Now it'll get darker than this. It takes a while for this stuff to really react fully, but you can see it's starting to turn brown already. So I'm gonna give it a little time. So what you see that's still wet there will flash off. And then I'm gonna go back with straight acid and then individually stain some dark planks. Ooh, that's the footing, huh? I'm gonna have to do something there. Something special. Okay, I'm gonna rush this just a little bit because of the rain. And now you just gotta choose some boards randomly, never two together. I'm gonna hit this one here, this little one. Now you can't spill the acid. You spill the acid, you're in trouble. You're gonna leave dots and marks. So I'm gonna use straight acid here and just stain some of these individual boards. And these will get real dark here. We'll give it a cool, cool look. Got a little bit of drizzle going on. It's the same thing when you're using a brush. You can't leave brush marks. So you wanna, uh, you know, you wanna keep your brush patterns kind of circular and random and just work it. Now you won't get to see the full effect until you put the sealer on. Everything will darken a lot more, just like stamped concrete. Try to get this floor as rustic looking as we can. All right, I'm gonna continue this. I'll shut the camera off and then we'll come back. Okay, those are the boards that I chose to darken. How's it going out there? <laughs> you found that in the ground? I'm getting this piece dirt now. Really? There's more. Man, if we dig up enough of that, we get enough scrap money to build a building kind of had an idea as I was doing this I was thinking this is a walnut there's also I forgot what it's called I think it's called ebony there's one color darker than the walnut and I was thinking maybe I could get that color as well and then make some of these really really dark kind of what I had in mind now I have three colors of brown Although this is pretty dark when you put it on straight. I just don't know if I like the light, the real light color. I like the real dark. I think this is just a little, I'm torn now. Should I make them all really dark? Cause I really, really like that. I'm gonna have to go buy more acid stain, another gallon, but I think I'm just gonna make them all dark. I'm really liking how that looks. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this here and get in front of this door as, as much as possible because that rain is hitting it now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the whole floor real dark like this. I think that's gonna look okay, but I think this is gonna look great. Okay, I'm gonna close this door. I got out past the door now. So I'm gonna run and grab another gallon of acid stain and then continue. Yeah, I just think I'm gonna like the super dark chocolatey chocolatey brown better if i just do it all one color dark so i'm gonna go grab that brian's doing here we gotta dig here too what is that i already got electrical i didn't even know we got to dig here for the downspout too, straight out that way. What is that, a boat anchor? Oh, it's a binder. We could put some WD-40 and get this going again. What do you think? 
If you find anything really valuable, let me know. What oh. is that, rebar? Oh, man. Raining pretty good now. Ryan's still out there. He's got a raincoat on. Just got back with the uh, another gallon of acid stain. We'll finish this up. Let's see how he's doing. Getting wetty. At least you got a raincoat. Yeah, just finish that end up there and then you're good. I could have obviously sprayed all this the first time with straight acid. I know everybody's gonna say that. Obviously, I know that, but it's kind of trial and error, you know? I wanted to see what it was gonna look like and I just didn't like it, so I'm changing it. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. All right, I'm gonna continue on. Continuing on. All right, I'm gonna keep going and then I'll be back with you when these are all done should take about half an hour i would say all right last little bit in the corner here and we are done so i just finished acid staining the floor and now it's that deep dark rich color that i was looking for so where it's drying here you see it's drying lighter but once you hit it with sealer it'll get really dark and rich again so the next step in this process is you need to neutralize the acid. So what we just did is we put a powerful acid on the surface of the concrete and we've created a reaction, a chemical reaction. So what would happen now is if you put sealer over this without neutralizing it, water will get through the sealer at some point. So when water gets through the sealer and hits the surface of the concrete, that acid is gonna start the reaction over again and it'll actually peel the sealer off because you know it'll create gases and it'll peel the sealer off uh, so you have to neutralize the acid scrub it up real good or pressure wash it and use a neutralizer i actually have a neutralizer made by brick form i'm going to use you can also use baking soda and water it neutralizes the acid you scrub it up you wash all uh, the surface down and then you can go ahead and seal it ryan's done digging the trenches over here it's not raining too hard. It was raining a little harder a few minutes ago, but it's raining, but it's not pouring out. So we need to hook up the downspout and I need to do the conduit. I'm not gonna do that right now in the rain, but at least the trenches are dug. That's the hard part. Hooking it up is the easy part. So we'll work on that later. I'm gonna come back here later and neutralize it and wash it. So it's gonna be 100% ready for sealer. But the cool thing about acid stain and the reason I did acid stain is you can get a really rich dark brown like you see here and then secondly I don't know if you can tell how mottled it is you get several different colors of brown it creates acid stain creates a mottled effect that you just can't really achieve with any other product that I know of it's a very unique look and it's just the perfect look for this uh, rustic barnwood wood plank stamp so I'm excited to seal this it's gonna look fantastic and we're gonna do the same thing on the borders of the patio behind me here. When we pour that, I'm gonna do a border in the plank and then the inside, I'm gonna do the ink texture. Okay, I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna come back in just a couple hours. Okay, I am back, I'm all hooked up. I filled my water tank at the house. Everything's ready, got the generator running, got some light in here again. So I'm gonna neutralize it now. You can see it looks amazing already and it's only gonna look better when, once I wash it and seal it. So while it's wet when I'm washing it, that's what it's gonna look like when it's sealed. So we're actually gonna get the, the finished look here in just a minute. So this is what I'm using to neutralize. It's called NutraClean by Brickform. I'm sure other companies sell something similar, just like every other product. And like I said, you, you can use baking soda and water. That's what I've always used. I've never used this stuff before. And they're saying use four ounces per gallon. I got a five gallon pail. It's a 20 ounce cup. So we'll throw this in here, give it an extra splash, because that's how I like to do stuff. Now I'm gonna fill up the bucket. I'm just gonna spill it out of the bucket, and then I'm gonna brush it with the push broom and then rinse it off with the hose. I'm not gonna pressure wash it. I'm just gonna use a soft wash on it. Spilling this stuff on the surface. And then I'll scrub it with the push broom. All right, 
Now we'll scrub it up a little bit and then rinse it all down. Just gonna rinse it off real good. Let it dry and then hit, hit it with sealer just like I hit my head. You gotta rinse this really good. Get all the excess acid out of here. Very thorough rinse. Super important. Okay, I just finished washing it. I put the neutralizer on it, I scrubbed it, I rinsed it, and then I rinsed it completely again. So it is totally clean. I'm sorry there's not a lot of light in here, so you're not gonna get a great look at it, but it looks absolutely amazing. Most people would not be able to tell this is not wood. It looks awesome. So that's pretty much it for this. Oh, I did have one flaw there, uh, foam peanut got finished into the surface, so that blew out when I rinsed it. So I'll have to patch that and stain that little bit. But other than that, it is absolutely gorgeous. Super happy with it. So obviously I can't seal it today, but we'll seal it later this week. The sealer, it'll look pretty similar to how it looks now. Hopefully we'll get some more light in here then, and then you'll be able to see it, the color a little bit better. It is pouring out now. So I'm gonna clean up and get out of here. It is 125 and I've been doing all kinds of stuff. And the rain they've been talking about, we are definitely getting it. It is, it is bad. Like it's pulling on the side of the roads here. It's crazy. They said we might get up to four inches of rain today, which is a ton. So I'm still running errands. I had to go measure a job. I kind of got figured out exactly what I want to do at the new land as far as uh, storage and where we're going to put stuff and all that. Kind of thought that through. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So I got to run to Home Depot now and then back to the office for my favorite office work. It has been pouring like crazy. Everything's kind of getting flooded. But I came over here to the land because the civil engineering guy had some questions and I wanted to see where all this water flows and how it flows off and he was surprised when I told him it runs to the east by the railroad tracks I don't know if we got a river down there going yet or not but I'm gonna go check it out man look at what oh man look at what we just dug this morning where our patio is <laughs> the water is going over the forms wow we got a deluge today it's going crazy I just went down there because I talked to the city and the city wants, uh, you know, our pond is going to be like here, but the city wants the outlet pipe of the pond to go all the way down to the cul-de-sac. So I was looking down there and it looks like it's all going to work out. There's a really low spot where all the water's going and it looks like we'll be able to get an outlet pipe with pitch down to the cul-de-sac. That's what I was really, really concerned about. Let me see if we got a river in the train tracks yet. Yep, we do. The drainage on the land is all pretty good now. Everything's draining pretty good. Except for right there, that gravel right there is a little bit too high. So I'll have to take that down a bit. But other than that, it's a lot better than it used to be. I got a videotape this on my phone for the civil engineer. And you want us to see this little river here. I'm gonna walk all the way down to the cul-de-sac and see where that water is flowing through. Get all the runoff from my land. This is right where the uh, retention pond is gonna be along this stretch. So it's gonna be catching all this water from the parking lots. I'm curious to see if the retention pond is actually gonna hold water or it's just gonna be a dry pond and only fill up during big storms. If it holds water, that'll be, kind of cool because I can you know keep it nice 
have a little pond or whatever, keep it clean. But if it's just a dry pond, which a lot of them are, you just keep it mowed. And then when it gets mushy, you just stay out. Here it is. Here it is. This is that little ponded area that I showed. And all the water comes right through here. You can see it streaming from under that, under those weeds. It all comes right through here. So the water runoff on this property is, it's pretty good. I mean, it's a pretty good situation. All the water comes from the land and it rolls this way naturally. It's kind of weird because we're looking at water that's going to the east and all the water on the land actually goes to the west and then it ends up here and then it comes through and goes that way. It's kind of weird. I think that's what was messing the civil engineer up. He was like, what, the water runs to the east? I was like, yep, it goes to the east. I am soaked right now. I only have a t-shirt on. I took all my hoodies out of my truck. I'm doing it for a reason. I've been waiting for a rain like this all summer long. And we've had a severe drought. Finally, we get a rain. Now I can show them what's going on. I think we're in good shape. I don't think we're gonna have any problem with the pond and the water management system. I think we're good. I'm soaked, my feet aren't soaked quite yet. Let's see if I can keep it that way. <sighs> Pretty good. Not bad, I still got it. I get off the ground about four inches. I guess it's a good opportunity to see if the roof is leaking. It appears something's leaking. I bet it's coming off of this right here. Yeah, it's not coming from the roof. It's coming from the vent. And it's hard to see where it's leaking from. I mean, there's a tiny bit of a... Oh, okay. I see. It's coming from the inside and it's dripping off this corner. All right, I'm gonna go home, do some office work. Didn't get much done today, but it is what it is. I got the parking lot we're starting tomorrow. We're gonna do set up tomorrow only. We're gonna rip it out, set it up, most of it up, and then start pouring on Wednesday. And then by Friday, we should be completely done. And then Monday, back over here, I wanna get all this stuff poured, the patio, and try to set that pad over there too for the shed. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios.